Another attack on an army checkpoint. This time it's in the capital. It killed at least six officers from the military police. To the public, the chain of attacks on security personnel that began after ousting Morsi in July has become unbearable. We can't stand it. We live nearby and we heard two bomb explosions this morning. Our building was vibrating. The sound was terrifying. Until when will we carry this burden? The terrorists are known. The government must be firm. To the victims' families, the news is devastating. They kissed their loved ones goodbye on their way to work, but never realized it'll be a farewell. May God avenge us. What crime have they committed to face this destiny? I was coming to visit my sister to find this disaster. They are infidels who commit these crimes. There is no security anymore. On his official Facebook page, the army spokesman said a militant group belonging to the Muslim Brotherhood is responsible for the attack. He said two more explosives were planted in the scene, but they were successfully defused. Many experts are expecting the attacks to get worse. This is a development in the type of terrorism that we faced in Egypt in the past days, and it might continue towards the coming days with the presidential elections. There are also talks about having March 19th as a decisive day of the protest. Muslim Brotherhood leaders are talking about surprises that will happen on this day. The attacks on security forces are still continuing across the country. Security officials say they're taking their precautions. But as members from the police and the army die almost every day, it seems that more measures need to be taken. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.